what is happening all right we got some kettle house brewing company out of montana and this one's called fish on it's a juicy montana pale ale 4.8 right there what's up papa goot edward how's it going guys we are just gonna crack a beer and get a shave going haven't done an IG live in a little while. We're going to be using some First Canadian Shave Sandalwood Tallow and Goat's Milk Shaving Soap. That is a product of Canada. Looks like we got a little bit of beer on it. Hey, what's up, Wes? <clears throat> so that's what we're using today. This is some good shit. What's up, Raza? What's up, Smiles? You can see where I scraped the soap right there. And so this is a good, a nice masculine sandalwood. Um, it's one of the more kind of dry sandalwoods. It's not like, I've tried some sandalwoods that are more creamy and smooth. And then I've tried some sandalwoods that are a little bit more um, drier. And I feel like this one is more on the drier side of sandalwood not to say that it's not smooth but it's definitely on the more drier side to me what's up alf what's up uh jack how's everybody doing we're using first canadian shave sandalwood and we got a kettle house juicy pale ale right here so hazy pale whatever Got the Lancaster Razor Works loaded up, and I got a little bit of water in the bottom, so I'm doing what we call bowl blooming. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Barbus dude? We're gonna be using the that darn Rob um, now chisel and hound. Is that kind of bird's eye maple with the ivory top and a AP Shave Co synthetic knot on top? That I actually, uh, I set that one myself. I had to um, dremel the uh, ferrule to make it a little bit bigger to accept the knot. But I think I did a good job. It's been rock solid for like two years now. So I think I did good. What's everybody doing today? I know it's Mother's Day, so I assume we all have plans. And we all are... <laughs> going to be uh, treating our mothers in one way or another. <clears throat> My mom uh, lives in a different state, so I sent her a, a, a gift card to go get a massage. And I had a nice chat with her this morning. <clears throat> and then I woke up this morning and I made um, waffles and bacon with some um, fresh fruit, some strawberries raspberries and blueberries for the wife and my nieces who spent the night last night relaxing well enjoy your day um roger smiley hey what's up chris i'm just getting lathered up right now and so i don't really have plans until um this evening where me and my dad are gonna take out my grandma and um, we're just going to go out and have dinner um, out on the town. So not too shabby. For those who are joining in a little bit later, we're using First Canadian Sandalwood. What's up, Hops and Strops? Let's see, what did I miss? Mama Bubbles is driving up from Florida right now. See her tomorrow. Nice. Well, definitely... Uh, Hope she gets there safe, and I hope you guys have a good time once she arrives. Love the fruit. Yeah. Yeah, so I make, I don't know about you guys, but I make my waffles with, um, or I eat my waffles, pancakes, and French toast. I eat them with peanut butter. You know, a lot of people just put regular butter. Some people put jam. Those people are kind of weird. But, um... I put peanut butter, and specifically crunchy peanut butter. There's no point in having creamy peanut butter. 
when you can have crunchy peanut butter. And then I put a little bit of syrup. I put some raspberries and blueberries and strawberries on top. Then I put a little, little hits of uh, whipped cream here and there just for a little added flair. But um, yeah, that was some good stuff. And then a couple pieces of bacon. Not too shabby. Hey, what's up, Jose? Thanks for joining. We are just getting started here. Haven't really done an IG Live in a while, but this is where it all started, really. When I first got on camera to do a shave, it was first done on IG. And I used to do all my shaves daily on IG. So I eventually uh, transitioned to YouTube after a while, but this is where it all started. Hey, what's going on, Ken? Thanks for joining, bro. Got one of my degenerate brothers in the house. And so first Canadian shave, really good shit. I have a few of their scents now. And um, I do enjoy their soap base. And I'm happy that um, I can now get the aftershave splashes pretty easily from the Razor Company when they're in stock. That is a bonus. Because international shipping is what it is. It's kind of a pain in the ass. What's going on? What's going on? It says, I use a barrel-aged maple syrup. From a small farm in Vermont. Dude, that sounds good. I, um, I've never had a barrel-aged maple syrup, but I've seen them. And I definitely have interest in that sort of thing. I've had barrel-aged coffee from the uh, roastery in Seattle. The Starbucks roastery. Which, you might have your opinions on you know starbucks coffee from one of their kind of fast food locations but the roastery in seattle is totally different they they're actually pretty legit and respectable um from a coffee lover's standpoint and they make it like in every uh, different fashion you can imagine <clears throat> and i actually had some uh, bourbon barrel uh, aged or infused coffee there and that was pretty unique I'm just painting a little bit of water in now <clears throat> then we're going to get a straight razor shave popping i am um, i'm going to be using my wacker chevalier straight razor <clears throat> Square Deal Farms. Easy to order online. Okay, shit. I might check that out. So we got the Wacker Solingen right here. It's a French point. You kind of get a look at that um, grind if it'll focus. But there we go. Beautiful horn scales. It's kind of a different on either side. But beautiful razor. This was my former favorite before I got um, um, that Rado Star Custom in my den. This was my former favorite straight razor. And um, there's just something about it. This uh, The edge on this one is from... Griffith shaving supplies. I didn't realize that Wacker had a pretty um, respectable factory edge or I would have just left it. But I'd never tried the edge from Griffith either. So I was getting a new edge to the den one way or another. 
and um, I, I'm not disappointed. Griffith definitely doesn't have the sharpest, most, most um, like toothy edge in my collection, but they definitely have a very smooth edge that um, cuts very comfort comfortably. Hey, what is going on here? What are we talking about? I'm doing good, Jack. Thanks for asking. I'm looking forward to uh, hanging out next week. Shady, what's going on, brother? Now we got two degenerate brothers in the chat. French tip would sound a little more sultry. I guess, yeah, I guess you got a point there. Thank you, uh, Jose. I, th I thought it was pretty funny. I, I had to laugh at myself. I thought that um I thought that Wacker was a vintage brand. Um a couple years ago and so I kind of thought my chances of getting one of these Wacker Chevalier razors was going to be like slim to none. I was like ah, I'm going to have to be on eBay and Etsy and just, you know, scouring the internet to find one. Um, but then I saw Griffith get a huge order of them last year. And that only then did I realize that they were a modern production razor that I could have got at any moment, really. <laughs> and so I just kind of had to... Uh, just kind of had to laugh at myself about that one. But I am happy I got one. The Chevalier is a beautiful razor. It kind of got like a little bit of something going on on the spine of the razor. A little uh, elegant detailing. Hey, what's going on, Chingon? Sometimes a toothy edge can be exhilarating. Yeah, I'm not saying I have a problem with that. As a matter of fact... I haven't really had an edge that I've had a problem with. I don't really have, obviously, above the cheek line and under the beard line, I don't have the densest growth there, obviously. So I think a pretty uh, mediocre edge will get the job done for me. I've never really had a problem with an edge. Other than my commissary that I got from putting roots down, that edge, either I'm just not familiar with um, commissory technique, or that edge needs to be worked on a little bit. Other than my commissory, that's the only one that I would say needs to be, um, I, I would appreciate getting that rehoned from somebody who knows what they're doing with a commissory. But I've had very smooth edges that I wouldn't consider, you know, very sharp. And then I've had some very sharp edges that were, you know, you could feel it every step of the way. It was toothy. Um, but they all did the job for me, and it wasn't too uncomfortable. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Jack. Oh, yeah. We are definitely going to shut a couple breweries down when we're over there. There is no doubt about that. <clears throat> You've been looking for a Philharmonica? I would love to have a Philharmonica. Um, but it seems like the most popular styles, I don't have any interest in those ones. I'm not a fan of the color blue, really. I can appreciate, like, a dark blue, but I don't like... Um, light blue really at all and I know that light blue Philharmonica is like super popular um, and then I don't know I like them but then I don't like them so like if I came across one for a good deal I think I would pick it up but I just don't like them enough to like watch Etsy and eBay religiously until I find one. They're all right. They're all right. 
I can appreciate them for what they are, but they're definitely not like a must-have item for me. That's good enough. It's a little bit washed out here on the second pass. Send it to Josh Culver. He did my commie. Okay. I will hit you up about that, and we'll get that figured out. <clears throat> I definitely, uh, definitely would appreciate getting that commie touched up with a new edge just to see if that is the issue. <clears throat> no issues whatsoever with the performance of this soap. It's slick. It has a decent density to it. I've made a better lather than this. With it in the past. But, um, I just don't, I don't spend a whole lot of time lathering. It is what it is, like, once it gets to a level that I know it can get the job done, I kind of just go with it. <clears throat> What's up? Talacon, Joey's World. Thanks for joining. I have the um, I have the middle part of my day pretty much wide open. Like I said, I don't have anything but dinner plans. My mom doesn't uh, live in the same state as me, so can't really go out and do anything with her. So I think I'm just going to maybe... Go have a beer with a friend of mine. Hit up a brewery to kill a few hours. And then when it gets closer to uh, dinner time, I'll come home and uh, clean up. <clears throat> All right. Which soap am I using? I'm using First Canadian Shave Sandalwood. And um, I was saying in the beginning... I was saying that it is, uh, to my nose, it's a little bit of a uh, drier sandalwood. I know everybody really likes the um, kind of smooth and creamy sandalwoods. This one's a little bit drier. And so I'm not sure if that would be for everyone, but I really enjoy it. I think it's nice. It's definitely on the uh, more masculine side of the wheelhouse there. And I'll just, uh, how does it compare to the Art of Shavings? Um, I would say that the Art of Shavings is a bit more in that um, vein of creamy, a little bit sweeter um, sandalwood. This one here is a bit drier, not as sweet. Um, and that's why I say... I don't think that this one would be as popular as some of those other ones. It seems like the uh, the smooth, creamy sandalwoods, those are the ones that get a lot of love and attention. <clears throat> but I like this. I don't have like a shit ton of sandalwood scents in my collection. It's not something that I'm like moved by. But, I appreciate sandalwood. I mean, it, it is what it is. Kind of wood chippy. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. I'm trying, I'm trying to find a better way to explain it than just calling it like a drier scent. A lot of times when I say, you know, like a scent is dry, 
It's kind of like um, in wine where it's like it's not as sweet. And so that's kind of what I'm getting at is like this isn't one of those sweeter, creamier sandalwoods. It's um, it's dry and it's it's almost, I suppose, more woody, you know, without that sweetness. It's more woody. I don't know. Probably doing a terrible job at explaining this. Let me grab an aftershave. <clears throat> this is another uh, recent sandalwood acquisition. This is uh, So Sharp Limited's Not a Tribute. And this was made by PAA, obviously. Now, it doesn't smell like pencil shavings, and even wood shavings might be, you know, a little bit too, too, um, it, it wouldn't be a great descriptor, wood shavings. It's just a, if you think of Art of Shaving Sandalwood, it's less sweet, it's not as creamy. It's like if you strip the sweetness out, what remained would be that just dry woodiness. But it doesn't smell bad by any means, you know. It might sound like I'm <laughs> describing it as a worse scent, but it's actually really nice. And this sandalwood here... Um, from the Not A Tribute scent is um, one of those sweet, creamy sandalwoods, but then it has an even sweeter uh, cherry note on top of that. And so it's really good stuff. Again, it's not really a cologne-like scent, but it is um, like a casual banger is what I call them. Great for casual enjoyment. But not necessarily sexy or anything like that. All right. Well, that pretty much does it. I hope you guys uh, at least got a little bit of enjoyment out of that. I am going to go have another beer with a buddy of mine. And then have some Mother's Day dinner with my grandma. So I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day as well. And I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.